What is up everyone? The Lord Excel here with a brand new video. Today I'm taking a look at Train Simulator. By far the most exciting game that I bought during the Steam Summer Sale. Uh, I'm going to show you why. I don't know if you're a kid like me. Well, I'm not really a kid. I just turned 23, but we all got an inner child, right? Unless, you know, we we kind of killed our inner child. But, but I didn't kill my inner child. It's just on a lot of different things. Like caffeine and alcohol and fuzzy things. But anyway, this is Train Simulator. Uh, give you guys just a quick little idea of what exactly I'm doing. This here is my train. Um, there are many like it, but this one is mine. Uh, what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to increase the throttle a little bit. We're going to head into the station up ahead, pick up passengers. Um, it was kind of hard for me to decide what the heck am I going to take a look at in this train simulator because I have no idea what's in this game that doesn't take less than like half an hour to do so you're gonna have to bear with me on this video it may be a little long it may get a little boring at times but I'll try to do my best to keep you entertained right now we're rolling to the station at about seven miles per hour and increasing I'm gonna pick up some people uh, the scenario for this particular mission is that we're doing some sort of speed trial, we're picking up a bunch of execs, you know, PR people, you know, take some cool little pictures of the train, we're going to take them on a ride going like 150 miles an hour. Uh, what they don't know is, is that I'm going to sabotage this entire trip so that uh, at a certain point we just derail after hitting max speed, which, which is the main reason why I think anyone picks up a train simulator in the first place. But, um... You know, like I said, for the kid inside of you, it's a, it's, it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool game. Um, pretty much, you're, you're driving the train. I mean, I, I don't know what else I, I, I can say to that. You got your throttles, you got your brakes, you got to pick up people from the platform. I'm going to slow up a little bit now that we're coming into the station. Dropping our speed gradually, always a good thing. You actually get penalized if you start uh, too quickly or if you brake too quickly. So in all reality, pretty much you got to follow the rules of the road in this game. Um, well, rules of the rail, you can say that. you got to line up perfectly on the platform or else you'll get bad marks. But uh, I guess I don't have to really care since everyone's going to die on this anyway. I'm going to pick these peeps up. Open up my doors here, let them board. You're going to see some people come in and out. Uh, that train going beside me is really, really loud, and I hope I don't need to adjust the levels after this video is made. Uh, but it, it's so realistic down to the very fact that I actually have to wait like a minute for people to get on the goddamn train. I'm like, what? I, I just want to go. I mean, I, I can go. Uh, I, I guess it really doesn't matter since, you know, I'm, I'm going to kill everyone on the train anyway, but, you know, it's, you know, why? Like, can't even do anything. Alright, cool, cool, cool. You will now complete three circuits of the main test track and stop after the main junction, then reverse back to the platform drop. Alright, they're not getting dropped back off. They're all just going to go to hell, so, you know, let's, let's get moving to the uh, test area. Let's just go full throttle can't really do that for too long because we're going to get super speed and well the entire point is to get super speed but not yet because I want it to be a spectacular derailment so let's just pull on through this yard here this is Jinko uh, Railways making all local stops at wherever the hell I feel like please step back and watch the closing doors beep Um, now this is the part where it becomes a little challenging for me because there's going to be a lot of stuff that doesn't go on. Uh, oh shit, speed's getting a little too fast. I may accidentally derail before actually getting to the part. Okay, cool. Speed's good. I wish there was a button that just said, okay, you know how fast my train's going right now? That's how fast I want to go, so make all the settings go that fast. And I am totally going the wrong way. Great, I'm gonna hit that bumper. You know what, fuck it, I don't care. Emergency brake, do whatever we gotta do. I gotta go back to that station. 
I don't care. I don't care. Give me, give me all the demerits. I, I, I don't care. I'll take all the demerits. Just, just start to strain back up. This, this game is so agonizing after a while because, like, if you miss one little particular thing, it will fuck you up for like the entire duration of your game. Like, oh, hey, I forgot to switch there, and now, like, I'm five miles ahead of where I'm supposed to be, and this isn't good at all. But I, I guess if you uh, played with trains as a kid or anything like that, I guess it's the kind of game you'll find enjoy, enjoying or... Enjoying is that? Yeah, enjoying is a word. God, I can't even think right now. Alright. Now, still need to back up. Still need to back up. A little bit more, a little 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 more, and I'm good. But, uh, it's pretty easy, even, you know, even with that. Um, pretty much all you gotta do is you get this really cool layout grid. It shows you the entire track that you're on. And, more or less, like I said, it's it's like playing with a giant train set. You hit the switch where you want it. Wait, do I have to hit that switch? No, I hit that switch. Hit that switch right there. I'm gonna follow that line going all the way to the main test track. Beautiful. All right, we're good. We're solid. Wait, I'm still in reverse. Go forward. 100% full throttle. Missile of Forge set phasers to. 100% throttle. I failed so hard in that, and I'm not even going to try to cover it up. But you know what? I don't care. I'm playing Train Simulator 2012, and this is going to be the best video ever on YouTube. Um, okay, I actually don't want to derail, so... Let's actually watch our speed for the time being. God, I, I wish it was a button that just said, make me go 25 miles per hour. I don't care about all the throttle and shit. I just want to go 25 miles per hour. And it's like the most annoying thing in this game is always checking your speed. And as much as I, I hate to admit, I played this game for about five hours straight last night. Just doing scenarios and all I did for like about half hour periods of time was check speeds. And braking. And signal towers. And why am I stop? Oh god. And, 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 and the controls vary from train to train because it's supposed to be super realistic. You know, super realistic. Hey, I'm just chilling in the cab. I have no idea what half of these buttons fucking do. Um, I think that's an emergency brake. Uh, I think that's the throttle. I don't know what the hell that is. Alright, come up to this little thing right here. Tell us the speed. We just passed 50 mile per hour sign. So you know what? We're good. We're good to go. We should be by the main testing track area soon anyway. Um, okay, maybe. Okay, maybe I'm not going to be it. Okay. Oh, God. Please don't derail. Please don't... Well, don't derail yet. Alright, 50 miles an hour. Full throttle. Let's do this. Let's do it. Ah. Uh, honk the horn. That is the weakest sounding horn I have ever heard. That is the stupidest bell I have ever heard ever. Alright. Alright, I gotta do another video where it's like a real train and stuff. And, like, it actually makes the honking song, like, Choo! Choo! Or the bell goes, ding, ding, ding. Because my father was a conductor, so, like, that kind of shit really pisses me off. Because I'm like, that is so corny sounding. Alright, so right now we're about to hit 70 miles per hour. We're just basically going around this large-ass circle. Pretty much all the track is. We follow this. It's pretty much us. If you've ever been, like, seven years old once in your life, you'll recognize that this is pretty much just a large oval like any other train set. But, uh, supposedly this train can top out at 150. So let's see what we can do here. Um, right now I'm going to try to pretend that this is a Q&A session and uh, answer some questions. Uh, we have a question here by Tony Baloney, uh, 960. Uh... Hey, Lord Excel, how did you become so awesome? And the, and the answer is, is um, as Lady Gaga would say, I was born this way. Uh, it's in my DNA. 
Uh, you can check Hartford uh, and the researchers over at CERN, along with the Higgs boson. They also uh, found the awesomeness gene, and, uh, well, I'm just one of its natural carriers. So uh, you're going to have to live with that. Uh, sorry, it's not the answer that you wanted, but you're going to have to deal. So right now, uh, we're coming up to almost about 100 miles per hour. I think that's going to be a cool time to more or less make us derail. I'm going to make us essentially go off track right here because we are going to go around here and when we hit this bend that is exactly when we will go off the track because we'll just be going so fast the train will be like I'm losing my gravity and then I'll be like shut up bitch derail and the train will be like I'm gonna lose my gravity I got the lateral momentum I'll be like just fucking derail but first we gotta wait to get out of this first block section right here. Pass all of this like yard stuff. Right there, that's where we were before when we were coming out of everything. Alright, we should be hitting the next block section. And awesome, we're in the next block section. Here we go. Here we go. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go back to the best camera view. Ah! Alright. Alright. Should we be inside the train? Should we be watching it? I don't know. One thing I gotta say is that the camera controls in this game are really cool. Like, if you want to make a movie or anything involving trains, I know it's kind of limited, but this this thing has got some great camera control. Alright, we're gonna hit that bend up there, the bend that goes left. We're gonna derail. This is gonna be the best part of the game. The best part of the game right here. Do not look away in 3, 2, 1, and oh, we're gonna lose it. And this is exactly what happens when you derail. I don't know why it's so awesome, but it just seems to be like the best part of playing this game is just doing things that you should not be able to do in real life with, you know, multi-million dollar pieces of machinery. But uh, anyway, that's me taking a look at Train Simulator 2012. Uh, shout out to Fry's and Tony Stark. I'm going to link them in uh, my video. Give them a take, take a look at their vids. They're awesome guys. And uh, I'll see you next time. See ya!